for a single needle tattoo with no other shader, you do a really clean take on this thing. You captured the look of this fish by the shape of the body. It has a roundness to the body of the shape, and it's because that highlight you left through the stripes and how rich the darkness gets. You totally kill it in this tattoo, man. Thank you. Today, you must tattoo. Here it comes. A compass rose. Oh, shit. Really? A lot of circles, a lot of tight lines. Yeah. It's just a nightmare. Unlike a vintage map, the compass rose is the part that shows you which way is north, south, east, and west. It always consists of straight lines and circles every single time. It's going to be a lot of ups. This is to see who's a technician and who's not. Straight lines, good circles, smooth shading. It's the fundamentals. Just keep it super clean. Oh, yeah, dude. You're killing it, man. Yep. It's pretty clean. <laughs> I'm taking a lot of risk with this tattoo. This style is meant to take up the whole body part. And when you're working with circles, it could be something that's a little tricky. You know, I'm gonna surprise people here. Today, you had to execute flawless fundamentals, tattooing a compass rose. Jason. These circles and the straight lines really are nice. The black is really strong, and that red is punched in so bright. I'm not a fan of trash polka, but you make this design cool. That's clean. Good job, buddy. Thanks. Judges, it is time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. Well, I like Hiram's tattoo. I do too. Putting something together that is cohesive, that all has a rhythm. An angel statue really stands out strong. Clean line work, smooth shading, solid black and bright color. Jason definitely has some shining moments for sure. Final decision. For all of the technical output, with the straightest lines, the most perfect against the field circles, I will go with Jason today. Oh, shucks. I'm voting for Angel. It's not the best drawing. I could settle this pretty easily. My vote's for Jason. There you go. Oh, I him. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Jason. Today, there is no flash challenge. What? Careful. We are moving directly into a tattoo marathon. Marathon? Oh, shit. What the f Marathon. It never stops. Here we go. In each round of the marathon, you must impress us with creative tattoos that prove you have what it takes to get to the end. All right. Creativity in tattooing is what gives you that wow factor. If you don't have creativity, then you're not going to stand out in a crowd of tattooers. For the first round, you can tattoo any style or subject you want. I like that. I'm down with that. But. There's always a but. You must collaborate with your team. Oh, I'm oh, about God, to get real. No. God damn. Each team will create one tattoo on one human canvas. One canvas, one tattoo? That just got a lot harder. With everything that's been going on, collaboration is the furthest thing from my mind. It's like bad sushi on a Tuesday. You just don't want it. Now, how your team works together is completely up to you. But know this, you will win as a team or you will lose as a team. Uh... You have six hours to show your creativity with a team collaboration tattoo. Each team can all tattoo. One of them can tattoo. It'll be as they see fit. Dig it. Having this many different cooks in the kitchen could either be the amazing meal of a lifetime or could be the worst thing you've ever tasted. You guys, having so much fun right now. Make sure that we like punch that saturation in there. No, I don't. I don't want to go too dark down there. Trust me, man. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. I like a dark value just because it'll make everything else much brighter up top. All right, I'll make them darker. I'm second guessing what we've done, and it's stressing me out. Were we creative enough? Did we really show ourselves as artists collectively? We need this win. We can't afford to lose anybody on our team. Today, you are being tested on your creativity with a team collaboration tattoo. Midwest, you're next. Really creative design. This beautiful crane is cracked in half and it's revealing a geode inside. It has this feminine quality to it, but it has this rough interior. So symbolically, I see a lot in this. As a design and as a composition, I love the shape of it. You really get the light shining on the geode and you really get the depth in there. It's super cool. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you so you. much. All right, guys, time to determine which team had the best tattoo of the day. I really love the South. 
the way that color's in, the way it looks, and the glossiness. On Creativity Day? The thing that I like about Creativity is that these guys are all like angry and so now they did like the little chill and angry penguin. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, I also see the humor in it. Well, we're talking about out of the box creativity that we have never seen before. And I love what the Midwest did. I love seeing stuff that I could never possibly imagine. That to me is what's exciting in terms of creativity. And for that reason, I'm voting Midwest. For application, I'm gonna still stick with the South. Man, for this particular challenge, my vote is for the Midwest. Whoa. The judges have decided, Midwest, you have the best tattoo of the day. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome to the second round of the Tattoo Marathon. Let's do it. Midwest, you won best tattoo of the day in the first round and are safe from elimination this week. You got damn yep. right. Your team will not tattoo. Yes. For the rest of you, you will have one more chance to secure your team's safety. You got this. Let's do it. We were so close. So close. Once again, you must have a solid strategy and trust in your team. Because today, you must tag team tattoo. Oh, my. As a team, you will create one tattoo for one human canvas. You can tattoo any style or subject. Yes. But once again, the tattoo must prove your creativity. Gotta kill it. We can do that. I think that's cool. I think it's cool. Two people tattooing a canvas at the same time, especially that don't know each other's rhythms, can be bad. It's pretty big, guys. Nah, it's not that big. You become very alert and hesitant to pull because you think somebody's gonna mess with your canvas, and you're in your head, so it becomes a quick shit show. Be careful when you release the skin. It's just hard to get in there, too. So I know. So it's, not, it's not gonna be easy. So much movement on your end. I'm barely in right here. Don't get so frustrated. I'm yeah. not getting just frustrated. Work. I've been waiting the whole time. I came here to tattoo, and I'm not even tattooing right now. I just think it's bullshit. Today, you had one last chance to prove your creativity with a tag team tattoo. The team with the best tattoo of the day will be safe from elimination along with the Midwest. Let's see how you did. West, you're up. The tattooing overall on this thing is spectacular. The shining moments in this tattoo are definitely the smoothness and the folds of the cloak. This deliberate shading in the face where you just go super dark and just fade right out the skin, super deliberate. I love that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, judges, it is time to determine which team had the best tattoo of the day. The West do a tattoo that technically is on the money. But in terms of creativity, the South showed us something completely different. The composition of the tattoo is very nice. But yesterday, I saw them tattooing the slickest of the day. For me today, that quality and that value is going to take my vote. I'm going to go for the West today. The guy sitting over here did a crane with geodes inside. That's a creative win. But they also had smooth tattooing. And you don't think the South has smooth tattooing? Not as smooth as the West. There's one that just really screams out to me, and it's the West. Yes, kid, man. My vote is for the South, and I think this is utter bullshit. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to the West. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, West. You are safe from elimination. Please have a seat. All right. Today, you must create a schematic tattoo. A what? What is that? What the f is a schematic tattoo? Does this look like a guy that went to college? I don't even know what that means. I've done it before. A schematic is just basically breaking an object down into its parts. It's like a blueprint. Shit. When I think of the word schematic, I think of a diagram. Make sure what fits together and how it assembles is true to the way that it would fit together. That's the test here. It will be a lot of line work, and it needs to stay legible. It needs to look like what it's supposed to look like. I still don't understand. I think the West is trying to shake me up, thinking that it's going to be hard, because it's a lot of circles. This thing has some pretty bold-ass lines on it, so. Yeah. That looks really good. The circle, it has to be smooth, it can't have any bumps, and it has to connect exactly where it's supposed to connect. I've been tattooing for a while, but it wasn't until eight years ago that I could just finally, like, everything else. Yeah. Just tattoo. I really haven't been able to shine here and show off myself. I'm a very strong tattooer, and I'm going to show that today. It's funny, it's like, I make my own hours, mm -hmm. but I work more hours than most people still. That's the best way to be. It's like, if you love something, do it. 
Today, you are being tested on legibility with schematic tattoos. Let's see how you did. Jarrell. Now I know that you can line. Your four circles that go around the globe are really nice at the thickness that you do them, and you keep them consistent. This color is saturated. The blending is nice. And you made literally a beautiful piece of art out of it. Thanks. Midwest is coming. All right, guys, it's time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. I like Jason's tattoo a lot. It's clean, it's cool, it's creative. For me, creativity, legibility, and cleanliness, my vote's for Jarrell. Jarrell put on a very strong outing, really showed a lot of consistency. Today, I also will be with Jarrell. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Jarrell. Thank you, guys. This week, you are being tested on consistency. Oh, man. Consistency in tattooing is making sure that throughout your whole tattoo, nothing is irregular. Nobody wants a wonky tattoo. Consistency is key. And there is no better test of consistency than collaborating with other artists to create oh, a series of tattoos. A series? Each artist on your team must create one tattoo. And every member of your team must tattoo the same canvas at the same time. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> All of us? All four at once? Just as your four regions make up the United States, ancient Greeks believed that there are four elements that make up all matter. Okay. Earth, wind, water, and fire. You can tattoo any style, but each of your tattoos must consistently incorporate your team's element. Today can be really tricky because, first off, God bless the canvases, either three, four, or five tattooers will be tattooing them at the same time. You're gonna try your hardest to go to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Just let it happen. These tattoos have to be cohesive. We're looking for these tattoos to almost look like one person did them all. That makes this extremely difficult for anybody who's a weakling. You about to dock? I only asked because I heard you like run your machine way down. Yeah, I've never done this before, so. The way I do it is the slowest that I can run it without it getting snagged in the skin. You should be able to get like a line of dots. Mika and Jimmy, as we get closer, we're only getting stronger. It's only up from here. Like that? Yeah. <laughs> this is so much fun. Why haven't I been doing this? <laughs> we're consistently consistent, Queen. Today, you had to prove your consistency by creating multiple tattoos on the same canvas as a team. <sighs> Let's see how you did. East, you tattooed the Earth. You're up. K. The way this thing is very simply shaded is cool. Very clean, very solid outline. The vine with the color in it, weaving in and out, pretty dynamic. I really like the tattoo. It's pretty good overall. Jessa. It has what it takes to make the eye move around and see a harmony and a balance. Your color in this is really rich. You do have a nice solid distribution of color and black and gray in the tattoo, so I think it reads prettier. Still pretty good overall. Jimmy. I really like the open skin, the little highlight that you leave in the cheek, and then you have those areas of stippling around it. I like the black whip that you bring off the back of the skull. It gives it weight. The outline is solid, and the stipple shading is super smooth. It's pretty badass. Thank you. Time to determine which team showed the most consistency of the day. I do see the craftiness in the east. From the drawing board to the execution to the follow through, those three tattoos are pretty consistent. My vote is for the East. Yes. My vote is for the East. Yes. That means that the East is safe from elimination. Good job, guys. You finally got a win. Please have a seat. Sweet. Today, you must tattoo neon lights. Lights. So you know how hard that is. A neon light tattoo is showing the illusion of a glow on somebody's skin. So the only way you can make the illusion is having a heavy amount of black and a very light source of color. Anytime they can't blast color in, it's going to have problems. If you have solid saturation of color and the right contrast, then you can make your tattoo as bright and illuminating as possible. Yeah, that's way harder than it sounds. Can we just do like a normal tattoo for once? I had a funny feeling that I would be doing some biomech. I've never done biomech in my entire career, but the thing is, it's a light source challenge. 
All black and gray is, is light sourcing. And I think I might actually have an advantage here. Every time I got a tattoo, I bring a general idea and the artist just takes it from there. I think you end up getting way better art that way. Exactly. Thank you, Midwest, for this Biovec tattoo because it actually gave me the perfect platform to shine today. I'm on my game 100%. Today, you are being tested on contrast with neon light tattoos. Let's see how you did. West, you're up first. Angel. Hey, guys. The way that you create the glow on your piece is very nice. The brightest part, there's nothing there. You have solid black, bright color, open skin, and it shows contrast. Thank you. Thanks. Solid. All right, guys, time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. The first and only tattoo that jumps out as one cohesive, bright, strong, solid tattoo is Angel's for me. Angel had light sourcing, wrapping around, shooting around. I mean, it's a well thought out plan. And it's one of the simplest tattoos of the day. Hands down, no contest, Angel. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Angel. Yeah, girl. That's pretty exciting, I'm not gonna lie. Nice job. This week, we're testing adaptability. Oh. It's not a good word. Different skins, different styles. If you aren't able to adapt, you're not an e master. You don't deserve to win this thing. There is no better test of adaptability than working with other artists on multiple tattoos at the same time. What? Multiple mean? tattoos at the same time? I don't even know what that means. It sounds bad, though. For each artist still remaining on your team, you will get one canvas. Every hour, you must switch tattoos within your team. Oh my god. Seamlessly picking up where your teammate left off. Are you kidding me? I feel a headache coming. Part of being adaptable is being versatile. Here it comes. So today, every tattoo your team does must be in a completely different style. Oh my god. What? I would rather eat glass. Subject matters should be completely different, style should be completely different. Yet, should look like one person did them all. It's gonna be a good day, boys. Wow. You will win or lose as a team. If even one artist falls short, your entire team will be at risk. It's gonna be a crazy day. Your human canvases have been randomly assigned, and you'll have six hours to tattoo. Get started designing, and we'll send in your canvases. And good luck. This challenge is insane. I'll see you in a couple hours. We're not the biggest team in the house anymore, so we just have to be smarter. Jarrell, you're coming over here next. I got the top of the hair to outline, and that's it. Okay. In a tattoo where the idea is to be cohesive, like one person did it, you gotta be able to start on a part of a tattoo and finish that part before the next person comes in. So that's what we're doing. This is your final hour. Switch. If you want to talk to me about anything that you have in mind. You went into a highlight that I left the skin on purpose. The front arm was a lot more visible. That was my bad. I thought you wanted that. My team thinks nothing of me. Back here, this guy, there was a skin highlight there. Jordan never made me feel like that. <sighs> yeah, so we've got to go back in this little area there. I'm pissed. Jordan shouldn't have gone home. And because of that, I just have this new fire underneath me. Everybody can get out of here. Everyone. My team, alliances, like, I don't care. There's a whole new drill coming your way, and it's gonna shock everybody because I'm not, I'm not playing any games. Today, you had to prove your adaptability, tattooing multiple tattoos in multiple styles as a team. Let's see how you did. Midwest, let's start with you. What three styles are we looking at? We've got traditional. We've got like an illustrative and then black and gray. Let's have a look at the black and gray tattoo. Tattoo's very legible, it's very big, it's very bold. A lot of nice gradation between the black and the skin. It's a weird thing that the skull was able to maintain all of its bottom teeth, but yet lose all of its top teeth. I'm gonna call that bad hygiene. What is going on on the right side that's not on the left side? Just filigree. It doesn't match the wing, so you guys miss it on that. Let's take a look at the illustrative tattoo. It's a funny drawing. It has a cool dynamic to it. This light green color and fade from black is very smooth and very saturated throughout. Overall, I like it. Thank you. Thank you. Let's have a look at the traditional tattoo. It's very legible. It's very clean. One line weight, black shading, color, open skin. Anywhere you look at your fades, you have nice whip shading throughout. The Jimmy Snaz Goblin is cool. Overall, how did the Midwest do as a team? Each individual tattoo looks like one artist did them, but I just am not in love with the designs. I see shortcomings in each one, but I also see shining points in each one. I think overall, it's a pretty good team play. Thank you. All right. I'm beyond proud with all of them, so.
That's where I stand. It's time to determine which team had the best tattoos of the day. I don't have a best of the day. Oh, God. I don't see it. No one team busted out. To be fair to every one of you, why am I going to pick a winner if I don't see one? But if you pick one team that was overall most consistent and most adaptable to each other, the Midwest. All three of these tattoos do look like they could have been done by one person. I don't see that much adaptability in the other team. Do I think that these three are the best three tattoos we're ever going to see? No. But for this challenge, most adaptable to each other, my vote's for the Midwest. Thank you. I love this South, but I'm going with the Midwest. <sighs> the judges have decided the best tattoos of the day goes to the Midwest. Good job. All right. Right. Yes. Congratulations. Excellent. Thank you. Congratulations, Midwest. You are all safe from elimination. Today, you must push your creativity to the limit and create a new school food tattoo. What? What's going to show off color theory more than a new school tattoo? They're super colorful, bright tattoos with a lot of dynamic shapes. I'm down to eat that up. Oh, man, this is going to get real wacky. Food tattoos in general are a little strange to me. You need to stop trying to make art out of food. Food is to be eaten. Just eat it. Are you sure we can do black and gray? <laughs> we want something that's going to be bold and graphic, but it's going to give us a playful look at a food tattoo. Seriously? Sick. It's all about creativity. It's all about drawing. Now it's time to go for broke. No holding back. I'm hungry for the win. I don't know about you guys. My team is definitely in hot water here. The only way that I can help is if I make sure I focus on this tattoo and get tattoo of the day. It's absolutely new school traditional. You might start a new fad. Jesus Christ, Jason. Just trying to roll for your feathers. Get you off the game. This crawfish looks like he's about to get cooked alive. And I'm cool with that because the South and the West, they're about to get cooked alive. And I'm about to paint a portrait of their destiny. I'm gonna get tattoo of the day on this shit. Today, you had to show color theory with a new school food tattoo. Jimmy. This has a very new school feel. The shading in the lemon with the blue on one side, the lobster with the yellow on one side and the blue on the other. You have a little bit of green in the eyes and you throw a little bit of green into the tail and a little bit of green into the leaves. The color play makes the dynamics of the image. Super cool. Thank you. All right, judges, time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. Immediately, obviously, Jimmy is a strong contender. For the best color pop and color saturation and vibrant, I'm going with Jimmy. I'm with Jimmy. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Jimmy. That's a first. Ever? Ever. Hell yeah, man. Welcome to Ink Master. Thanks. Today, you must tattoo a pinup. Yeah, I'm sorry. Boy. We are looking for a full head to toe pinup tattoo. It's a I've never done a pinup in my life. When you have to do a face that's the size of a quarter, the face is the most important part. That's right where they go in. Can't there. jack up the face, man. No. Pinups are not my thing, but I do a ton of faces and portraits. So with that, I'm good. You okay? Yeah. One thing I'm worried about. So my canvas looks like she's not feeling too good. <laughs> Excuse me. She's coughing every now and then, and she's just real fidgety. I like burn it up and stuff. Oh, yeah. It was before I came, though. It's not because of the tattoo. If you f up a line at all, you can't fix it. I need my canvas to stay still. Three hours remaining. Three hours remaining, guys. you get tattooed and you're not feeling too good, it makes it even worse. I was smart. I did the face first. I just say those boots were last, man. It's a tattoo that I knew I could pull off in two and a half hours. Yeah, I'm not going to tattoo you anymore. Oh, you're not? No. As a tattoo artist, you have to know when enough is enough. So we're going to call it right there, OK? OK. It's a good tattoo. It's done well. I just hope that it's enough. Thank you. Have a good day. Hope it's a winner, OK? I think it's a winner, man. Okay. Today, you had to show artistry, tattooing a pinup. Let's see how you did. Jarrell. Hi, guys. I really like this girl. I especially love the dark strip of shading that you have down the center of her leg that pushes out. That light source is beautiful. And the way that you get that nice, gentle, soft texture in the shirt really shows well. You're really shining on this one. Thank you. That's what's up. 
All right, guys, time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. I will say this is one of the best pinup days we've ever had. You guys killed it. All right, guys. Jarrell is definitely in the top today. This thing is unique. It's done beautifully. I love angels. Everything about this tattoo, the drawing, the color play. Angels is a much tougher tattoo to do. Yeah. But Jarrell's the cleanliness is undeniable. My vote's for Jarrell. My vote's for Jarrell as well. Jarrell. Unanimous. Right. Damn. Look at you, man. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Jarrell. He's got artistry on his face. Today, you must tattoo a black and gray, realistic U.S. landmark. What? Shit. Wow. Today is a great day. We had this call pick, and we're doing a black and gray challenge. My team, that's our specialty. So you stand no chance, brothers. Lots of little details going on here. I wish it didn't have to hurt. I'm doing the Taos Pueblo. Bob told me it's a big rock formation, but turns out it's an entire town made out of adobe. It's like one of the most detailed tattoos I've ever done, I'm not gonna lie. Black and gray realism is my specialty. If I don't nail every single ledge and window and stair in this tattoo, I'll never hear the end of it. Today, you had to show smooth shading, tattooing a black and gray realistic US landmark. Let's see how you did. West, you're up. Angel. You took a smart approach to this tattoo because it is illustrated. You have a lot of smooth shading. You have areas to transition. All the negative in the face of these buildings shines so bright because you put the mountain behind it dark. You put the ground in front of it, medium tone. It's really legible. It's really clear. But this is a New Mexico Pueblo. Mm -hmm. That is a saguaro cactus. It only grows in Arizona. Oh, shit. <laughs> that is my bad. But overall, I think it's a very smart play on how to attack this. Thank you. <sighs> Kill it. Good job, bitch. Thank you. All right, judges, time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. For me, Jarrell, your black and gray in the lighthouse is the best black and gray in the room today. Thank you. I really love what Angel did. When you see Angel's finished tattoo, where all the bells and whistles are on the whole landscape, it tells a better story and is a better all-around tattoo. Final decision. Final decision is Angel because Jarrell didn't finish his drawing. Thank you. My vote is also for Angel. <sighs> cool. <laughs> the judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Angel. Thank you. This week, we're testing versatility. Man, I'm not pretty versatile. Versatility is important in general because you're not going to always get what you want to tattoo, but you should be able to tattoo everything you get like that's your wheelhouse. Week after week, you have competed with or against the artists next to you, learning their strengths and their weaknesses. That's true. Now, it's time to use everything in your arsenal to take out the competition. What does that mean? Today, you have the power to call out another artist. Whoa. Regardless of region. Oh, shit, that's crazy. You will each create a line drawing. The artist you call out must tattoo your line drawing. Oh. And you must tattoo the line drawing created by the artist who calls you out. Oh. Damn. Your line drawing is your roadmap to that tattoo. If I get a drawing from somebody who wasn't planning their shit out, it could be catastrophic. <sighs> Angel, who's it gonna be? He's three. Oh. Uh, can't draw for Bob. Of course you can. All right, I'm gonna call out Bob. Now I have to go way out of my comfort zone to make Bob something he can kill. Plus, I don't get to anybody over. All right, Bob. What'd you make for me? Tried to give you something cool. And great. Oh, right. Not, not, nothing boring with that. What? This <laughs> is so sick. Bob is my teammate, so I'm going to give him everything that I can for him to succeed. I'm giving him the shading reference. I've colored it like a million different ways. So cool. Kill it, Bob. Look at you, buddy. Yeah, I know. Look what happens when Angel does in my drawings. I know, right? They turn out pretty cool. This week, you're being tested on your versatility. You'll be judged not only on your tattoo, but also on your line drawing. Before we critique your work, there is one more thing you should know. What the Of course there is. You called out an artist, and that artist had to tattoo your line drawing. But you'd better hope you didn't dish out more than you can handle. What does that mean? Because each of you 
must tattoo your own line drawing. What? Holy shit. Man. Make your design glow. Outdo the person that did your design. Show us why you drew it and what it really is supposed to look like. The point is, you're supposed to do it better. So those of you who gave too many hints to the person you're handing off the drawing to, might have screwed yourself. Based on both of your tattoos and your drawing, one of you will be eliminated. That's intense, man. Head into the shop, and we'll send in your canvases. Right now? Right. Off you go. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Artists, you have six hours to tattoo your own line drawing, and your time starts now. Cool. All right, cool. Let's do this. Let's get naked, bro. Come on. Now these artists have to tattoo their own line drawing. This should be a cakewalk. Good fun day. But you'll see that probably some of these artists will find insecurities in themselves because somebody may have tattooed their design better than they would have. So now they'll be in their heads, and now we'll see what they do with it. Oh, f spot's the worst right there. There's one spot every time you hit my leg. Twitches. There's a couple spots. <laughs> the canvas is moving around, jerking around, twitching. Just because my canvas is in pain doesn't mean I can have an unfinished tattoo and let Jarrell beat me at what I'm good at. No. This is my shit. So, I mean, look at all your lines, Bob. I look great. Anybody can pull a line on a thigh, Bob. Look at that secondary light source. What? It's all right. Coming over here, talking shit. I can be successful no matter what is thrown my way. That's just showing versatility right there. How is Jimmy gonna show any sort of versatility today when all he's doing is traditional tattoos? Traditional drawings, traditional tattoos. This week, you had to prove your versatility by tattooing someone else's line drawing and your own design. Let's see how you did. Bob, you had to tattoo Angel's line drawing. You do a great job figuring out what colors you wanted to really make that thing jump off the skin. I love that salmon-y kind of tone pushing out into the green. I love your take on the mouse and how little hints of color actually makes that mouse whiter. For me, Bob's pops off the skin a little bit more. Thank you. <laughs> Let's take a look at Bob's design that he made for Jarrell. The amount of layering that you get from the pink overlay of the piece coming out of the top of the claw to then using a richer pink and then a lighter pink behind it and then coming with the deeper red behind that, it's monochromatic, but it shows depth and layering. You do a really nice job on this tattoo. I applaud you for designing this because anybody who gets your tattooed is instantly thrown a versatile challenge. All right, judges, it's time to determine who had the best tattoos of the day. I love Bob's drawing. It pushed the artist to be artistic. And what Bob did, translating Angel's drawing, I mean, that's my favorite tattoo of the day. That's my favorite of the day as well. For the win, man, I'm going with Bob. My vote is for Bob. Bob for the win. First one? Yeah, that's yeah. The judges have decided the best tattoos of the day go to Bob. Today, must tattoo. Here it is, guys. A portrait. It's about time. Yeah. Finally, this is my time to shine. Of a senior citizen. What? Ooh. Leatherface. That's so much little detail. Senior citizen portraits are difficult because you want to capture the likeness of that person, but you don't want to overdo their wrinkles because you'll make their entire face look leathery and scary. Yeah, well, it was coming okay. eventually, right? Mm -hmm. Because of the fact that I got to pick the best one, I really have to execute it. Because if I drop the ball and somebody that got a grenade does not, it's embarrassing. Today, you had to tattoo portraits of senior citizens. And you were being tested on precision. Let's take a look at how you did. Midwest, you're up. Jarrell, you had the advantage. Let's start with you. Overall, you execute a very nice portrait that picks up the nuances of the man. You nail the eyes, you definitely nail the nose, the gray hair, you nail. Everything's very clean and precise. You have areas that transition from dark to light, creating contours. Overall, I think you get a really smooth effect with this portrait. Thank you, guys. Judges, time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. You drill definitely got the best photo. Overall, it's 100% cohesive, smooth, best vignette of the day, best shape by far. My vote's for Angel. I'm with Jarrell. Yeah. I love both these tattoos. Angel's tattoo is beautiful, captures this woman, but the hair is a different shape, and Jarrell crushed it. My vote is for Jarrell. Yeah. So close every time. 
The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Jarrell. Thank you, guys. Get ready for a fight to the finish line, because your spot in the finale is in your opponent's hands. Nobody knows your strengths and weaknesses better than the artists who competed alongside you all season long. OK, guys, discuss what style and subject you want to assign Bob. Let's go. One thing that has been consistent this entire time is line work issues with Bob. So I'm trying to think if he can achieve fine line anything. If they think Bob can't do lines, they're wrong. You're going to be OK. All right, Jarrell, what's it going to be? A fine line, black and gray, realistic lionfish. So fine line only. Yep, no shader. A lionfish is covered in stripes, has crazy pectoral fins that are all frilly like seaweed, and also has these spiny spikes on its back. He's Every view of a lionfish is a hard view of a lionfish. Just look at the anatomy of that thing. It's just a camouflage piece of seaweed. Let the fun begin. I'm screwed right now. I have to learn a new technique in tattooing. I've never done any fine line black and gray in my life. Mastering a technique, you know, at the same time as tattooing it is a pain in the ass. You feel confident about this one? I don't know. It's kind of intimidating. Today, your opponents called the shots. Three of you will move on to the finale, and two of you will be packing your machines. Let's see how you did. West, start with you. Bob. For a single needle tattoo with no other shader, you do a really clean take on this thing. You captured the look of this fish by the shape of the body. It has a roundness to the body of the shape, and it's because that highlight you left through the stripes and how rich the darkness gets. You totally kill it in this tattoo, man. Thank you. Good job, bud. Thank you. It's a rough one you guys threw at me. All right, guys, time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. Bob got called out on something that most people would really blunder, and he killed it and everything in that tattoo is cohesive and finished and applied properly. And for that reason, I'm going to go with Bob. Best tattoo of the day for me is Bob. And my vote is also Bob. Congrats. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Bob. Wow. And you were worried. Oh, I was. Yeah. Congratulations, Bob. You have earned the first spot in the finale. Holy <laughs> shit. Look at you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I'm really happy right now. Congratulations. Thank you.